pretty close to just being a single entity. And a pattern of different tones, as, as I just mentioned in detail, dark, light and medium. But each of those patches of each of the three tones have a very distinct shape. And that's what I'm trying to put down on the paper at the moment, I'm trying to capture that array of shapes rather than worrying too much about the fact that I'm painting a, a steer as opposed to a horse or a pig or whatever. So it doesn't really matter too much what I'm painting. The essential technique at this early stage is pretty much the same. Now, having done that all the way across the painting, now I'm going to add a bit more tinting white into what remains of that patch of paint and some more of the ultramarine blue. And so now I'm going to use this as a brighter highlight colour. I haven't added any more of the burnt umber because I want this to be a little bit more of a pure blue. And what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll again spray the surface of the painting with, with water because I want to get some automatic blending effects. So this time I'm going to start on the right, I think. And let's, let's put some on the neck here and see what that looks like. I'm getting quite, getting quite a lot of glow off of the... painting just there so having trouble gauging whether I've got it right or not so let's go over to this animal where there's less reflection off the wet surface oh it's not too bad actually it's not too far off what I wanted so what I'm doing now is going back through and looking at each of those highlight areas that I put down a moment ago and I'm thinking well within that patch of light, are there any areas which could, you know, do with being lightened a little bit more? So it's not a major adjustment that I've that I've done here. It's fairly subtle. But if I look at this animal here, for example, the bridge of the nose and the left hand side of the forehead are considerably lighter than the right hand than the right hand side is, and also along this ridge of highlight. It's a little bit narrower, really. So for now I can um, note that in my painting by just putting a narrow highlight along the rather broad highlight that I had there to begin with. 